Dear volunteers, thank you for your cooperation. But here's some more updates that I do not know if I already put them or not. And, you know, I have no time to check. Some I found out that I already posted, but some I did not. So I apologize if I'm repeating any of the following ones. Thank you so much and let's get all ready. Thank you. So when you're making the videos, please also put the versions, right, that is possible to use, the one that I did not put a title all the way, for us to be able to use it, you know, with my voice, and soon Andrew's voice, you know, he's going to do some videos as well, so we can have some of our voices there, okay? All right, and the other ones that I passed the title all over, then you just do the best you can <laughs> for the videos that still need it. And with time, we're going to improve them anyways, right? And have everything a proper pattern. It's just for now, for the organization launching day, for the people that are interested to already have a look and an idea, and then we make better ones afterwards. Thank you so much. Also, please already have videos about security and guidelines for everything, for everything, even for simple gardening. How to hold the tools, don't hurt anybody, how to place them, where to place them, not in the middle of the way, all details like that. Wash of materials, you know, clean up, you know, five or ten minutes before the end of the period, right, of these four or five hours. Okay, in the beginning, going to be a whole day because that's a lot of work to do. People that do not work in other places, they have to work the whole day. They clean their homes, do their laundry before or after, but after, you know, with every other extra hours, unless they have to study. But otherwise, you know, we have to focus. Most people as possible can have food, right? So by the beach, we can already plant organic beds, frames that's easy to move around if it's needed. You know, places that are going to be remodeled or completely taken out afterwards. So it's okay, but we need guards because the plants grow faster when they are in the ground. For everyone inside the continents, then it's okay. Have to plant in pots and already take the fruit trees that sustainable will handle, not those that are too old and you know, not going to manage. But those that are younger, they would manage if they have a good root bulb, right? With the burlap wrapping them around and everything, right? Already there. So they would grow already in these big plastic containers. I'm going to bring them in trucks, closed trucks, or laying down on, on, on trucks, closed trucks, so to avoid wind. The families, all the families, nobody going to use travel bus. Every family going to the beach going to use airplanes. They're efficient, they're fast, don't lose time, you know. No one's forbidden to say they are afraid of airplanes because they're not. Just explain and it's all done. Families with money, families without money, doesn't matter. Everyone will be using airplanes. And then we're going to count everything points the same way, dollar per dollar. Cost, cost. For, for now, and the whole December, let's do the cost of items. Okay, put a little bit for the service, but not any huge amount. You know, try to keep low everything in all countries. Eight dollars, eight dollars for the most basic people that completed, already completed their... Um, high school and have basic English number two. And the other ones will be for $16 for those that have very, a lot of experience in important areas, but with English. Both of these positions from eight to 16, there everyone need to speak English, the basic English. People that don't know, they're gonna work for free because they, that's the only way they're gonna speed up and learn, but they have to learn the basics, right? Because some people, even the United States, they're here for years, they don't learn English because they don't want to, but we have to, okay? All right, my friends, that's very important. And we do not have the salary as $13, not such a thing. 
okay so but every other price is fine so we have uh, 8 10 11 12 14 15 and 16 okay and people that are obese and have health problems can't not move properly they have to start as regular work volunteer i mean not work for money for points because that's the way you know they're gonna speed up and walk more and work out more and sweat more and be healthy and strong and available to work right okay so we're gonna give points only to people that speak english and are healthy okay my friends so we see you soon here in florida for our international conference on Sunday, December the 4th, and we see you soon. It will be a real gift to have your presence here with us. Please share this information with everyone, all the world of schools, families that are positive and sustainable, for them to come, okay? Send us an email. The Peace Organization uh, email got blocked. And my other personal email from mail.com got blocked as well. So now we just have Goiana Ferreira 28 at gmail.com. Okay? All right. I see you soon then. Send your documentation and come to Florida. All right, my friends. So here we are, the actual present names of all semi-arid and desert lands so this is a very good map because they have here how arid they are so extreme arid or arid you see there so that is good and semi-arid so it's very good for us to have an idea because uh, some places are really bad right here, the Sahara that I keep talking about, and here a little bit, and this is going to take out anyways, right? We're going to make a shape here, so we don't have to take the whole thing out, because it's too big. Imagine, look how huge this thing is. We're just going to make a proper canal there, here, bigger, here, bigger, take this point out, and close it here, close it. That's what we're going to do, because I think that's the most sustainable. Okay, shape up, round, right? So we are going to take out Portugal, Spain, and France because this is a, a point that's not needed. So even maybe even more than that, maybe Switzerland as well, Italy. No, Italy maybe not here, right? So here, France for sure, okay? Because then, look, going to be much more harmonious, you see? The point, the, the, the tip of Italy for sure, but not the, the, the part here by Switzerland. Okay, so they're going to be a more harmonious continent. Maybe, yeah, this has no way. So what we're going to do? Scrape, scrape, scrape. So all this dirt here, I'll piece, uh, get the trucks, get going. Okay, so we have bridge here, right? Gibraltar Canal. Keep them going. The tractors go, tractors go, and keep going. So we're going to make, you know, so they can serve people like that. So soil, here's bad soil. doesn't work. But we can have, uh, here we have a lot of woods, right, for mulch. And keep repairing and sending huge trucks. Mix, mix, the farmers uh, mix the hay, who has hay, who has animals, right? mix and keep going and for us to make this happen all right so here it's for you to have an idea how many desert land we have can you imagine we need to do that in 20 years we have to so what we're gonna do send more people to the desert all right because that's the only way we're going to make it neat, going to make it clean, organized. Everyone going to be happy because that's the only way. Look at this. You know, for small, tiny things, yes, they can catch up. But even this tiny thing, if you see picture, this place is huge. Imagine, this is a mangus. It's true. It's crazy, right? But we have to find a way. How are we going to do it? Yes, you scrape the mountains and bring over keep bringing keep bringing 
You know, if they have woods, all right, chop the woods already, bring the soil with woods in it. Perfect, mulch, mulch. You know, where it's forest, it's wood, mulch and go, mulch and go. And also from here, because here's not too many, you see? So all this stop, you know, whichever they have, Gibraltar Canal, it's right there to be useful. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Everything from Europe, all right? And it's spreading them around. And that's the only way, right? So here in the United States, they're fine. They manage, okay? They manage. They have a lot of tractors already. But here, it is a concern. This is really huge. Here, they're catching up, right? They're planting the basics. They just need trucks and trucks of good soil. Uh, woods, you know, like Amazon. Amazon also can send. Look, it's not that bad. From United States, it's really bad. But from here, maybe from both. Yes, yeah, ships and ships and ships of what? Soil. Soil with trees crumble up in mulch. Sand. Sand, because they will catch up for sure. It's already a lot of water. We just have to do properly, right? But they will catch up for sure. And now, here, that we have to see how we're going to do it. But it's not too bad. This map maybe is a little older because this is already smaller, right? This here on the East Coast is smaller. But it's good for us to have an idea how bad it, it is, right? And how much we need to get better. The other thing is humidity. It's not only for the soil type, but also for the humidity. It's crazy, right? But it's true. And for that, we're going to use prayers. Okay, my friends, let's keep going and get ready. Okay, so it is forbidden to have any modern art of any type. Okay, so that's one of them. And here's another one of them. All this surrealistic all these things forbidden okay all right keep writing down please and give also some examples all right so it is forbidden for people that not the same family to hug forward right to friends we always hug sideways and only um, on Sundays or special days weddings party days right on Sunday can only be before or after, right? Uh, because people of different buildings going to meet. Oh, how are you doing? Because they don't work with that people whole day, right? Okay, but needs to be sided. Man to man, man to woman, right? Needs to be side, sideways. Okay, so it's forbidden to have grand pricks of any type. Forbidden to have this big, huge... Uh, uh, trucks, right? Pickup trucks, tractors, you know, this huge, they have huge tires to be playing around, flipping around. All those things are not needed. Also, motorcycle of any type for any race or any regular use, all of these are not used, needed. Okay? All right? And it's forbidden to have any other education that's not the peace organization education. That's very important for us. Okay, we're going to get all the details and decide for one curriculum for all age groups and universe, what we're going to study, what we're going to have, and establish that. Okay? All right. So, let me see here what else. So, uh, for the airports, two airports that are already not needed, the cities, you know, in a center of continents, going to be taken out after all the residents get out, right? Demolish one neighborhood at a time, okay? All weird buildings as well. We are not having that. Any statue, any monument, any um, stadium of any type, it was for World Cup or not, or if it's a small one, a big one. No, we're just going to have theaters, right, that are, are close to the beach. We're going to see if they're approved or not. Like some buildings, right? Some buildings, they have some specific characteristics of the place. If they're 100% safe, secure, or if they can be a little remodeled here and there, that's okay. Right? But we are not having anything weird like this, 
okay anything that's too tall because all this is not sustainable we have to avoid everything we can up to 20 floors and no more okay if needed we go on blocks right but not on taller buildings okay all right so it's forbidden to use animals for anything any activity not for circles not for farming not for fun not for walking a desert no we're not using animals anymore people can walk and that's how it will be okay so all weird buildings even that they're short it's forbidden as well okay so we are going to get everything really organized you know cities can have their characteristics right but they're not going to have anything that is uh, weird or if it's cultural or not if it's historical or not okay these huge statues of any type okay all right so that is very important and um yeah, we are not going to have golf courts of any type. We can have mini golf. That we can do. But not huge lawns. We don't need that. Mini golf, yes, is authorized. Very small. People have the base. They have to walk around, right? And they can be part of a few uh, fun, fun parks, right? Fun places, right? That is fine. You know, small beds, small balls, you know, different... Uh, gardens where the ball goes, small lawns, that is around, allowed, okay? All right, so that in a few words, that's what it is. Let's get going, let's get organized. Today is November 23rd, and we'll see you soon. Okay, for all deserts in different locations, we're going to establish their names, right? Because they have different patterns on their uh, format right on their structure and then we're gonna do the same always lines you know horizontal lines with the villages desert villages okay all right really good keep going Hi everyone how are you doing great all right november 24 there is no school in the whole planet okay everyone has a day off let's do it my friends okay so here we are with a basic uh, timing for everyone all right have your white flags and let's go wave so from 8 to 10 a.m wave your flags so what you can do if you have babies little children pregnant women stay at your own community get your neighbors and get organized you're going to do the games the lunch at your own community if you have children five years old and above you know for those that can walk so go to your street your avenue uh, beach and parks okay to wave your flags and you can already bring a bag uh, of your lunch not too much right water and food all right so from 10 to 12 you're gonna be there and have fun time wave the flags more here right and here is more fun time right with games all right okay so here wave your flags here's fun time so from 12 to 2 it's lunch time for everyone at the location you already are right and for 2 to 4 there's two options water fun or boat ride get ahead you can invite your friends or family right be safe of course not ships but boats okay up to up to 80 people 100 up to 100 people okay boats are okay all right and then from four to six other teams right you can change so other people can have boat rides so if you are owner you can bring some people right if you're the captain of the boat <laughs> you can bring some people two to four or four to six right so they go in one hour come back in one hour and this team as well go for one hour come back to an hour right okay or east west whichever is your location all right and then while some people are having boat rides water fun 
and the other people can have also land fun right or pool fun okay land or pool fun all right so this is the same if you did one thing you can do the other all right okay and then six o'clock about six six forty right until until 6 40 p.m right everyone gonna be home for a special dinner with one family or a special dinner with one community at the clubhouse you can do that right get organized make it beautiful have the table set up in in fabric right uh, uh, beautiful colors can have white and red or white and orange or white and blue okay or um, um, yeah something beautiful like that or yellow and red or clear blue uh, matching colors right okay so you can sing songs right sing positive songs that can be what can be family presentations or can be group presentation okay group presentation so you can still have time today to get organized and practice right choose some songs that already exist if they're really positive or create your own come on let's go we can do that all right okay so here it is get ready so here we are tomorrow we see you soon let's celebrate and at the end of the time the end of the day you're gonna fill up your records book right and take pictures the whole day mini videos so you can edit and open your youtube family account okay all right my friends that's the first step to get registered if you're not registered yet with all the requirements go to the conference videos and do all those tiny videos of one minute two minute so your family can be registered awesome we see you soon take care okay my friends look the reality of our planet you see we really need to do better. We have to find a way. People in mansions and people in tents, you know. Look, it's really a lot. Look at this. You see? You know, we really have to find a way to do better, to have food for everyone, you know, no more refugees anywhere. We have to stop those things, civil war, problems with religion, problems with culture, problems with limit of land. We have to find a way, my friends, look at this. You know, people cannot live on those situations anymore right so we are doing this organization we are going to make it happen what's the most positive and sustainable for everyone we need to find peace and love you know so for us you know it's forbidden to go to other places be refugees right oh it's not good over here it's not good over there and or ask people to leave because of wars they can't have a place to live they can't have food right we have to find a way okay so let's embrace this opportunity let's do it better let's really work united have clothes for everyone have food for everyone plant in all deserts right have one rule and guideline for everyone. Let's be happy. Let's work united. Right? We have to find a way. Plant food. Have food for everyone. Right? We have to do better, my friends. The other thing that we have to do 
is to stop those divorce things. People have two kids, divorce. You know, these organizations that make them to divorce, ask them to divorce, you know, you know, people have to pay for their practice. Some people know they're doing the wrong thing, you know, but it's, it's, I don't even know how those rules were implemented in our planet, right? To tease others, to make people to get divorced, make people to be alone, be singles instead of be married, for them to get more points in life, right? So, my friends, let's do better. Please, let's do better. You know, we have to stop the power of organizations like this. You know, we have to stop. We can't keep doing like that, living without proper sewage, without proper clean water, you know, without proper housing. We have to find a way. Okay, we have to find a way, and we will find a way, all right, okay? So, please, let's do it, let's get organized, and um, let's really make this happen, all right? Okay, so let's embrace this opportunity and work together. Okay, so here we have some images of... Australia coiffure, but here there's some as well. Not all the way, but some here. If needed, we just go and do some man-made rivers. We're done before many places, so we just bring water. The main thing is for all land that we will stay to be covered in forest. So, any island, any place that can be forward need to be put down, you know, so the big continents are fine, right? Because we have aquifer and where is needed, we bring water to them. Okay, so Australia going to be fine as well. But for any small island, any other place, so it can't stay. All right, so here, yeah, Sahara, that's the biggest one, is fine. And China has water as well. So, and some also comes from the... The mountains, right? At the end of winter. So we're going to be fine. Okay? All right. Very good. So any of this new forming islands anywhere, we'll stay where they are. We'll stay where they are. You know, if any happens, right? Because that's the only way. We don't have any planting there, right? And uh, the small islands that have them, we're going to put them down. And what nature will form afterwards is afterwards, right? Okay, because we have to, to be safe, and that's the only way. So we will have rules and guidelines. It's forbidden to go out. And here's also an improvement. We are not going to have sailboats, right? So to avoid people to travel the world, right? So we are going only to have canoes, right? Um, and um, I'm going to tell you up to when we can have uh, motor boats, right? And canoes, people can go, come back, that's fine. And I think for fishing, we're going to have the barges with cable. And maybe that's the most sustainable. So people can go a little bit, right? But with prayers, it's how they're going to bring their fish, most of their fish. All right? I think that's what is the most sustained. So the barges can go, come back with those cables or a oh, solar panel, right? Solar panel, but they never go out because they're big and huge. You know, we're always going to be people watching each other. So I think that's the most sustainable, right? Okay, let's keep thinking about all these details. Okay, so some places became deserts because of monocultures, right? So we have to plant a variety of natives, right? Not through trees, but a variety of natives. And for the, the soil to come back, to be rich in bacteria again and, you know, have all these 
plants that we can offer. So we are going to have different um, options for to 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 keep the water coming out from aquifers, right? From water wells in different ways, in different places. So it will be really sustained in different ways, right? Okay, so here's some of them. All right, so we're going to let you know. And the solar panels, going to have many solar panels. Not too many, but, you know, when they, they break, it's okay. We just have a few solar panels, right? But not that many for the water to keep pumping. And we're going to find ways, you know, sustainable ways. A little canal, not canals, let's say. Yeah, maybe canals. We have concrete for the water to go to most locations as possible. So if there is any elevation, right, such as hill, a little mountain, like right? no mountain, we're not going to plant on the top of mountain, but we can make the aquifers on higher areas, right? So we can, along the centuries, we keep bringing the water, along the decades, right? Because as soon as it's forested, then it's fine, right? Like Amazon, as soon as it's working well, then we'll be okay. But we have to start. This is starting work that is a, a, a lot. And we need trees that let the leaves go yearly, right? Because that they will make bacteria, the Amazon, right? Rains a lot, but leaves a lot fall and create this rich soil that we need. Leaves falling, 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 regrowing, right? for us to have a better soil. The world. Yep. The shipping sector has long been drawn to hydrofoil boats, which use hydrofoils to push themselves over the water considerably quicker than regular ships. However, it should be emphasized that these boats are far from being a new technology. So we're only going to have ships that will carry good materials for deserts and, and other areas that are needed. In the early 1900s, they were heavily used by American okay, soldiers so in Germany and Russia for fruit trees and... They're mostly employed for fishing, but because of their speed... In order to identify and locate the Look ideal location boats. for oil drilling in the middle of the seas, a seismic vessel no. is used as a survey. All vessel. the others that are not useful and already be sent to These recycle at no time. The oil drilling process to look they will load the and the river won't Mercy return Lake, to their Mercy continent. Ferry called the MV Snowdrop is still in service after many years. She was known as the MV Woodchurch from the time of her debut until a significant refurbishment in 2003. The Woodchurch was the second of the new Birkenhead deep from Titan. Yeah, all of them make no sense. They are too big. Yeah, after fitting out in sea time the strikingly stunning 141 meter motor yacht Yas. The super yacht Yas, which was launched in 2011, was constructed by Prinivest members ADM shipyards in Abu Dhabi. She draws design cues from a 1977 launch of a former Dutch built naval frigate. Her strikingly graceful exterior features love fluid those curves, are not as well needed. as an excellent structural covering of glass. It can accommodate up to right, 60 they can, guests while being some of them that are not so big, such as yet, can have good extends, families to have a, a little off, trip of two hours or so, right, to enjoy them. Systems, two or four hours, right? So those fans can have fun that never had fun before. A whole day, let's go a whole day. They can even have restaurants, right? Yes, let's give to families that never had these opportunities. Because we have so many, and some are quite fun. Let's do that. Right, so before they go to remodel, the interior design honors the Polynesian history of her owners and crew so let's have a, a huge the boat has a parade tomorrow November 28th shall we because I think bars, the sky bar it would be great right many people can fit on them enjoy the view right the shall we Guest lecturers will also present in these rooms on a variety of yeah, markets. They have trusted comments. captains, of course, and other people in the cabin, right? Stateroom, suites, balconies, 
and cozy dorm use the proper the places, right, for friends to enjoy and come back at the end of the day. Each guest room has a private bath with a shower and the right. class C drinks and business presentations. No so sleepover, no just during the day, go, come back, right? Because we really have too many and it will be a real gift to have that. The expected charter expenses, which will facility a floating jail. Ish, what's this? The 800-bed prison barge known as the Vernon C. Bain Correctional Center houses convicts for the New York City Department of Corrections. Off the southern Bronx coast is where the barge is moored. It was constructed for $161 million in That's the Mississippi crazy, River's Avondale shipyard in Louisiana. Prisoners and prison officials call it the boat, and it has 100 cells and 16 dorms that can house offenders ranging in security level from medium to maximum. The Vernon C. Bain Center is the New York Department of Corrections' third prison barge and is currently the only one in service. The prison barge was recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records in 2014 as the biggest prison barge only dedicated to transporting large we numbers of live animals together with their needs for the journey are known as livestock carriers. In cases when this disease outbreaks have. are suspected, some have persisted for months as the ship can't dock until it's safe. Many species have been imported in this manner, but domesticated sheep and cattle breeds are by far the most prevalent. Millions of sheep and cattle were moved on livestock carriers throughout the second half of the 20th century. Number 10. City of St. Petersburg Ship. The City of St. Petersburg is a vehicle carrier that was constructed in 2010 and is presently flying the Panamanian flag. Roll on, roll off, aka row row ships, are cargo vessels that are made to transport wheeled cargo. So they're driven onto and off the ship using either their own wheels or a platform vehicle. Lift on, lift off, or load after being delivered. They're huge. There are many huge ones that we don't, don't need because we want to fit materials that we need, such as plants, mulch, hay, right? And also want to be useful for people to have fun. So the ones that we can have fun... It caught fire, sunk into shallow water, and was written off completely. Soon after the war, Norman International Geography. The 108 meter long platform is intended to tilt to be so able none to of this. Board. I don't think we have any other one to talk about. But in a few words, basically is that the ones you can enormous, enjoy, right, going out with the families. Let's give them a great opportunity, people that never traveled before, right? Okay, so they can actually use the ships to go to, to a fun day, right? Because if they are leaving, they are going to live in other continents, need to be by airplane. That we already decided, okay? But just to have fun, they go for the day, come back at the end of the day, right? Okay, and every family can have two opportunities and up to maybe two or four months. Shall we do that? All right, let's do it. Great. Let's make people happy because we have to recycle them anyways, right? All right, so every good family have the opportunity to go twice. Let's do it, my friends. Really great. All right, they can eat on board and listen music, dance and sing, wave our peace flags at the organization launching day, and let's have the ships, because if they have good captains, right, that we trust, that will be fine, they can be part of the boat parade, a little more far away, not too close to the coast, closer to the coast, we have regular boats, right, um, and yachts, and, you know, with many families, all right, right, friends, see you soon. Okay, here we have an example of places that has too much water inlands. All of them need to be covered up. You know, bring, scrape mountains or explode them and bring them over. Because this is not safe. Look how many. This is just an example here. Look. It's way too many. Look. You see? Proper rivers are good. Proper canals, natural, handmade, right, are good. Spring, streams. But this is too much watering land. It's too much. It's not good. The other place, it's here. You know. Let's see if I show you right here. You know. 
Look, some places in Florida also has too many. So we have to see which ones are paused, which ones are not. But from the ocean, we cannot have, because then we're going to have, you know, all these lines blend in. Then we don't have a proper line where the mainland is. That's the problem, okay? Because then we're going to have all housing, such as, sorry, such as here, right? That's just an example, right? Because it's not really part of our line. But then we don't want that to happen. We don't know where the main the main land is here and not here. You see here? So we have to cover. We can make proper rivers, but not a huge body of lands like this. Ah, right, thank you. Great. Here are other examples that we have to close. Cannot leave too open like that. You see, and here, look, all this area here in New Orleans, so we have to, to make it better, you know, take out what is, it won't be part, but here will be covered, so sorry, here's different, all we're going to be covered, because you cannot have, we can have proper lakes, but not a mixture of things like here, okay? All right, great. Hi, my friends. Okay, so here we are. I have this, the titles for the table of contents, public, as you see here. And here, let me click for you to see. So we have here the link where you can edit. All right, my friends. So please do that. Have everything ready and send to Andrew. So I asked him some time ago to edit everything and put in our website. Okay? All right, so please dear volunteers send any anything to edit or to be improved, you know, any, any improvement option to him so he can edit and have our website. I asked him before, I hope our website is ready. Okay, thank you my friends, we'll see you soon. And today it's november 27th and two more organization launch and have a beautiful day we're gonna sing and we're going to wave our peace flag so be ready we we'll see you soon and for everyone for uh, business owners for everyone please make your donations because we're still paying rent i could not have a house yet for um, um, us to live now in December so please make your donations you already have the proper cent to add if it's for the organization you're gonna add the cents if it's for us you're gonna add the cents for classes for everything it's written right there put the code the cents as a code for us to know okay all right and for people that are coming to the international course they have to pay for the two-year university course because we need this money to start many things now in December, right? Continue our work and make donations to proper uh, communities that are registered here in Florida and others, people that are really willing to have this organization um, um, working and helping others in need. If I have a house here in Florida, I can offer my apartment in Brazil to someone that needs. You know, it's in a very good location. It's in Goiânia City. The only thing is that in the center of the continent. So in a few months, the person needs to move anyways. But if it's a family with older uh, children, such as 15 years old and older, you know, they're welcome to stay there because those apartments are going to stay longer time with older teens. Okay, so you're welcome if you want to do that. You know, just let me know. But I need a place here first, okay? So we need an exchange because I need a place because I have to move. I cannot stay here. They didn't renew the contract where I'm staying here in Stewart, Florida. So we need to move. If I get a place, I can offer the apartment I have in Brazil. Thank you. The other thing is be careful of tension, you know, for the safety team to do. You know, these basic videos, we need one. Attention with your children, teens, babies, attention, and teenagers as well. Very important. You know, the parents going to work where the children are. The parents going to work 
what's going to happen with them. So it's very, very important for everyone to work safe. And of course, also elders. You know, if elders have still a situation, walking around, going to stop that. Teens walking around, stop that. Because some of them are following information from cell phone, information from others, you know. Uh, oh, I'm going out. Oh, I'm going out. And then come back many hours later. Going to stop this walking in our planet. Going to stop. Everyone going to stay with their own families. Forbidden. That's it. It's forbidden. You know, people that don't respect, they are going to stay at this J room because that's the only way, right? The only way. We have to be better. We have to improve because everyone going to have everything they need. People going to have vitamins, good food good company, they're going to sing, they're going to take sun, fresh air, they're going to be able to plant gardens. So when everything is done, there's no need to complain, no need, all right? Okay, let's get organized and let's get going. Very important, everywhere, you know, everywhere, all the schools of all ages, you know, even the preschools that are going to be inside the communities, right, in some cases, or right outside, you know, the main gate, just for these few months, right, they need a sign-in, they need a sign-out, right? They need those things for the parents to see. They need people to inspect from their own neighborhood and to be approved afterwards, they're going to have inspection from outside, so it depends on how it is because the parents, their own parents are going to be right there teaching them or working right outside the, the location, right? They can do their laundry, uh, you know, and some mornings they can plant right there. They can fix, they can paint, they can clean, they can sweep. You know, there's a lot to do right there, close. They know what's going on. They see what's going on. So they have those that already have a cell phone. They're going to do the... QR, right, um, a code, and also sign in and sign out in paper. One parent after another, not one page per parent, because the, pa the parent can come and don't sign here, don't sign there. But if it's one parent after another, we see what's going on. So people will be right there, washing, cleaning, cleaning the pool, cleaning the street, and sweeping and planting, okay? All right, and if it's one parent after another signing in and signing out, what's gonna happen? Nobody's gonna lie about the time because the other parent already coming, so they can't lie about the time. It has to be the time that it is. And we're gonna guide everyone. We don't want to make all those rules and guides, don't tell people and get them in a surprise and then say, Ah, you didn't do this, you didn't do that, you're not good. No. The main objective is for us to have rules and guidance to tell people how to do it, you know, so they will do it properly. You know, it's not to for the smart ones that already know about things, you know, to do things and sneak out things. And for those that are ingenious, don't know anything to lose points. No, we have to be honest. We need to give proper training, proper instructions for everyone. So, please, volunteers, already make the basic videos that for everyone the same. You know, basic rules and guidelines uh, with family, um, with neighbors, right? And for gardening, for working in other locations. And then specific ones, right? So, specific ones about the job. Okay? All right. Thank you.